starting to cry a little bit. I'm just so happy that the holidays are here. Oh, I don't know. Hi everyone. Now, hold on, how am I gonna start this? <laughs> Fall is here, which means the holidays. Friends and family, a lot of entertaining. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and tasty appetizer that you can make literally in no time. And I'm gonna show you how to make a cocktail. It's gonna be a new spin on an old classic. The appetizer I'm going to show you how to make today is called artichoke bites. It's super simple. You start with artichoke bottoms. This is literally the bottom of an artichoke. It comes in cans or in glass jars. I prefer the ones in glass jars. You're gonna need green onion, cilantro, and the vegetables that go in there, frozen organic vegetables. I mean, it couldn't get any easier. You also need olive oil, some salt. I like to use light salt, and a little bit of paprika. I'm gonna start by chopping the green onion. You just wanna make sure that you get nice bite-sized little pieces. Oh, I'm starting to cry a little bit. I'm crying. I'm just so happy that the holidays are here. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. <sighs> it's the only reason I'm crying, because of the green onion. Nothing else is going on. <laughs> oh my god, I have serious tears on my face. This is like nuclear onion. So the only other thing you're going to chop is the cilantro. If you're not a fan of cilantro, that's okay. You can use basil, parsley. Okay, you're gonna chop the cilantro. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. The cilantro is not gonna make me cry. This is good enough, this is good enough for me. Put some olive oil in there. And the first thing you're gonna throw in the pan, green onion. So you have this on medium heat and you're sauteing your green onions. The next thing we're gonna put in there is the mixed vegetables. Corn, carrots, peas, and green beans. Light salt. Paprika. So while this is sauteing, I'm going to show you how to make this holiday cocktail. We're making it old fashioned, but we're making it with a couple of little tweaks. What you're going to need is bourbon, bitters, sorry, this is cinnamon, honey. I like to use organic, unfiltered honey. You can also use a honey bear. Ice, and of course you're going to need an orange. I pour one shot of the bourbon. Actually, we're gonna do two shots because we're gonna do a double. Because it's the holidays, you're stressed out, and you really need that cocktail badly. So I like to use honey because it's healthier for you. So that has been mixed in. I'm gonna add a dash of cinnamon to this and my hand. We're gonna stir this, stir this. This makes the perfect holiday cocktail. So we're gonna take our glass, we're gonna add ice to it. We have our drink all mixed. Two more steps and you're done. Take an orange peel, rim the glass of your cocktail with it, and lastly, we're gonna just shake a little more cinnamon. Voila, you've got the perfect holiday cocktail. Okay, back to the appetizer. So the actual artichoke bottoms, we're not gonna cook them. They're ready to eat as is. However, I like to warm them up just a tiny bit. You're not cooking them. You're just gonna warm them up. So I'm gonna use my olive oil again. Place the artichoke bottoms face down. Two to three minutes between a low and medium heat until we're ready to fill them with the beautiful colorful vegetables. So the artichoke bottoms were warming up for about two minutes and the vegetables are sauteed. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fill your little artichoke cups and they stand up perfectly. So you're gonna take your cup and you're actually going to fill it with the veggies. The cilantro that we chopped is gonna go on top right now. Go. One last thing I like to do, I'm just going to add some black pepper. I mean, look at how cute these look. They're colorful, they're festive, and they're healthy. So, now you've got your appetizer and you've got your holiday cocktail. Mmm. So good. Perfect. Happy holidays to all of you guys. I'll see you next time. I think the cat's hungry.